So President Trump is threatening to cut off funding for schools that don't reopen with in-person learning this fall because of COVID-19. Our Tiffany Tarpley has a look at why the White House objects the CDC guidelines put out earlier this summer and how all of this is tied into the economy. The White House plans to put out its own back to school plan, saying the CDC's guidelines are too restrictive. This is all happening as we're seeing that increase in coronavirus cases. The Trump administration is pushing state and local officials to fully reopen all schools this fall to help the economy recover. Some parents say it's tough to get back to work if their kids are still at home rather than in school. And the American Academy of Pediatrics has pushed for in-person learning this fall. As far as the CDC guidelines, the ones the White House objects to are limiting the sharing of toys, electronic devices, in books. Vice President Mike Pence spoke about all of this during a coronavirus task force briefing today. He says expect new guidelines from the CDC next week, and he stressed that it's essential that we get our kids back into the classroom. It's important that the American people uh, remember uh, that, uh, that for uh, children that, that have mental health issues, for special needs children, uh, for nutrition, for uh, children in, in uh, uh, communities facing persistent poverty. The school is the place where they receive all those services. Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos also spoke today, saying it's not a matter of whether schools should reopen this fall, it's a matter of how. She says it's best left to education and community leaders. Tiffany Tartley, 3 News.